Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's take a look at our next topic. Our next topic is going to be profit. And how do we define profit? Well, profit is the amount of money you have left over after you make a certain amount of money from some sort of business or some sort of venture. And so that's called revenue. And then of course you subtract from that the amount of cost that you have. And yes, you will have profit if the revenue is greater than the cost. You'll lose money if the cost is greater than the revenue. So here in our example, we're going to go back to our small restaurant, the fast food restaurant where we're serving burgers. The fixed cost is $300 per day and the variable cost is still $1.50 for each burger that we make for the food cost for the burger. And then we're supposed to find the profit as a function of the number of burgers served if they are sold for $5 each and the amount of profit if 500, if 500 of the burgers are served. So here's the, the the letters we're going to use, X is going to represent the number of burgers, C sub F is the fixed cost, C sub V is the variable cost, and R is used for revenue. So what does that equation look like? Well, we're trying to find the profit, so we'll write P, the profit, as a function of the number of burgers served, is going to be equal to the revenue. Again, the revenue is also going to be a function of the number of burgers served. And of course, if there was no cost involved, zero cost, then the profit would equal the revenue. But we need to subtract from that the cost, and the cost is going to be the sum of the fixed cost plus the variable cost. So, how do we figure that out? Well, first of all, let's figure out the revenue. So the revenue is going to be the revenue per unit, so it would be the revenue per unit and we're going to multiply that times the number of units. Kind of the same idea as we had for the variable cost. And now from that we're going to subtract the fixed cost plus the variable cost which again the cost per unit this times the number of units. Put a bracket around that. Okay, so now you can see that this is how much money we bring in and this is how much we have to pay out and hopefully this is bigger than this. But that's how we calculate it. Now the equation is going to look as follows. So the profit as a function of x, x represents the number of burgers served, is equal to the revenue, the revenue per unit, which is five, five dollars, times the number of units, which is x. So the amount of money you get per unit times the number of units, that's your revenue minus the fixed cost, which in this case the fixed cost is going to be 300, plus the variable cost, which is the cost per unit, which is 1.5, times the number of units, which is x. And so let's go ahead and put it like that, and a bracket around it. So there's our equation that represents the profit. The profit equals the revenue minus the cost. And notice that those two are added together to make up the total cost. Now, we can simplify that equation, we can combine this plus this, but we can also leave it like that to make it a little bit better as far as understanding what the equation stands for. So now, what do we need to do? We need to find the profit as a function of the number of burgers, so this is what this is. And of course, we could simplify it by combining this with this, but we don't have to. Then next, what we're going to do is find, uh, let's see, we'll, let's graph this function. So if we're going to graph the function, we may want to do the following. So in this case, we're going to combine these two. So we have 5x minus 1.5x. So we can say p of x is equal to 3.5x minus 300. So this is minus 1.5x subtracted from 5x is 3.5x minus 300. So if we graph this equation, it looks as follows. So the profit starts at minus 300. That means if we don't sell any burgers, we still have to pay that fixed cost, which is $300 per day. And then we have an upward slope of 3.5 like this. And notice eventually, if we sell enough burgers, let's say we sell 500 burgers, then we're going to make this much profit. So the next thing we need to do is find out how much profit we're going to make if we serve 500 burgers. So then we can say that the profit as a function of x being equal to 500 is equal to 3.5 times 500 minus 300. 
So 3.5 times 500, that's 1,750. 1,750 uh, minus 300. And so that would be equal to 1,450. So that would be the profit when x is equal to 500. And notice, then if we convert that to dollars, the profit when x equals 500 burgers is equal to $1,450. So that's how we figure out the profit for any number of burgers. Again, all we need to do is plug in the right number of burgers in there, and that gives us the profit that we need. And that is how it's done. That's a lot of burgers. Not easy to own a restaurant, is it? I've been there, done that. It's a lot of work. <laughs>